I know we're called the community school and it really is like a community. It's almost like a family. We all support each other, we get to know each other, and we want the students to feel comfortable. We, the staff, get along so well, and we're able to form relationships that maybe the students hadn't realized that they can have with a teacher in the past, where we understand them. I think one of the things that really makes the school unique is, of course, the students. Even though they come with a lot of challenges, they are also so hardworking, they're very curious. They can be very silly, and I feel like, for me, it's always a learning experience as well. I feel like I learn so much from them. What makes this a special place is, like, it tries to include a lot of people, and it helps a lot of people. It's a very community society. In my other school, there were a bunch of students in one class, and in this school, there's only like 12, maybe six students, and it's just a lot calmer and not as noisy. 22 years ago, I met the founder of this school, Beatrice Lieben. Her child in 1968 did not have proper services. She was struggling, there was no place. The public school system just didn't have it. So she said, you know what, very innovative, brilliant mind, I'm gonna do my own. And she started her own school, she started out of her house, from there, it grew into the community school as a whole. And when I met her and I joined in this mission, I, I felt like, wow, this is something I should be a part of. And I'm still a part of after 22 years. I teach a lot. I yeah. teach reading, English, Wilson. I teach math. I teach social studies. We really saw a need to take the children's goals outside of the speech room and support their social development. So we started the Spirit Committee four years ago mm -hmm. at this point. And we really wanted to create activities um, to build morale, build their confidence, give them responsibility. Today is sports day, so we dress up like in a jersey or like something that's like sports. We have lots of spirit days and it's just very welcoming to like make sure like it's not just like school and work, it's like also having fun. I've been here for like three years, four years and I've been having fun. I think that the most important thing is to kind of meet the child where, where mm -hmm. they're at. So, you know, when they come into this school, a lot of them are a little bit hardened. They've had a tough time in public school. They feel like they're not good at school. So kind of getting to know them and who they really are and then figuring out, you know, their strengths and letting them know their strengths and that their disabilities make them more able and they just learn differently. A lot of these kids are coming from public school situations where they failed or they feel like they failed. And in this school, at this level, we're at a foundational level, right? We're at a place where kids are just trying to understand what learning is, understanding you know, how to succeed. What does it mean to, to, to do better academically, socially? And in this environment at the community school, we can see the whole child. I feel like the community school is a place where these students and the teachers become exactly what it is, a community and work together and grow together.